What up guys, Andres here with Steps for Improvement coming to you with three more books that you've absolutely got to read for 2021. You got to read these books, you cannot be sleeping on them. They contain great valuable knowledge that you cannot find in any other books. Books that will make you the best version of yourself. If that all sounds good, make sure to stick around for the three books that you don't want to be sleeping on. Now I had actually already filmed a separate, a whole different video earlier today but for some reason all of the files from my SD card were mysteriously deleted and they somehow disappeared up in the cloud. But you know what? Setbacks happen and you gotta improvise. Speaking about setbacks, book number one is The Stoic Challenge by William B. Irvine. This book is a follow-up book to A Guide to the Good Life, also by William B. Irvine. Now this book focuses mainly on, you know, everyday setbacks that we experience, different challenges that come our way that may disrupt our tranquility, our positivity, and our level of happiness. Now since the author does utilize the philosophy of Stoicism, he talks a lot about how we often get very angry and very upset at different challenges. Like take this as an example. Like today for example, I filmed in my opinion what is a very creative video. I had a lot of things planned, you know, the edit. I kid you not, as I sat down by my computer, I put in the SD card into the computer was about to transfer the files from the SD card to the computer only to find out that they had all disappeared and were erased. Now I could either approach this in a very negative way and get all upset and let this disturb the rest of my day or I could accept the fact that this is a setback and that this is only a test that tests my resilience, my toughness and my calmness. Now what I really liked about this book is that he not only employs you know the philosophy of stoicism which he does in his first book but he also employs a lot of psychological techniques like anchoring and framing. Now while I do absolutely recommend that you read his first book A Guide to the Good Life what you could do after you've read this book is move on to Stoic Challenge. This book definitely taught me a lot about setbacks and how to handle setbacks in the right way, in the right manner. How to stay calm and not get upset by different mundane things. The setback that I experienced today, this could have disrupted my whole day. This could have disrupted my whole week, my whole month. Only if I let it disrupt me. But, you know, I didn't let it disrupt me. It might have stung for a couple minutes. But eventually, you know, I moved on. Because I'm a stoic motherfucker. And that's what you'll become if you read these two books. Alright, so book number two is none other than The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. Now, The 48 Laws of Power is a magnificent book that everyone's got to read. I mean, and when I say everyone, I mean everyone. This book is one of the top five books I've ever read in my life. I'm not joking. This book talks about how you can gain more power in your life, how you can gain more power in relationships, how you can gain more power in politics, in any area of your life. Now, some of these laws that Robert Greene presents in this book, The 40 Laws of Power, may even be considered a little bit evil, like do not commit to anyone or crush your enemy completely. But, you know, you have to be aware that these laws exist in the real world. You know, other people might use these laws against you. And it's super important that you're aware that these laws exist. I made a video about my five favorite laws, the five laws that I found most applicable to my life in the modern age because, you know, let's face it, this book uses pretty old ass examples about kings and courts, you know, people like Machiavelli, people like Galileo, a lot of old ass people, but, you know, watch that video about the five laws that I found most applicable because I know that you'll find them applicable as well. And like I said, there are 48 laws in this book, absolutely amazing book, everyone's got to read this book. This book taught me to be more aware, you know, and be more present in every single moment. This book taught me how to have a mysterious edge to myself, you know, always say less than necessary. I really grew from this book both emotionally and professionally. Next book is I May Be Wrong. Now, this book, it might seem like a random book to a lot of people. It's called I May Be Wrong by Bjorn Natiko Lindblad. But this book I'm actually currently reading right now and I find it to be a really good book. It talks a lot about different meditation tactics that you can use in your life. You know, how to be more present in different situations and different moments. This guy actually lived as a Buddhist monk for like 15 years of his life up in the mountains somewhere. And he simply shares a lot of his Buddhist 
wisdom that he learned and accumulated over the years. If you think about it, Buddhists and Stoics are not that far away from each other. You know, the two philosophies are pretty identical. Both of them talk a lot about, you know, finding tranquility in life and staying calm in different situations. And, you know, not letting your negative side, which is important, not letting your negative emotions take control over you. You know, simply staying present in different moments, and being able to enjoy the most out of life. And that's what I found in this book shares you know he shares a lot of his buddhist wisdom like i said and it's a really fucking good book you know i recommend that you read it i'm reading the swedish version because i'm trying to diversify my book readings uh most most of the books that i read are in english but you know since i am fluent in swedish i might as well read a swedish book for once i'm going to be wrapping up the video here my camera's about to die but i hope you enjoy this little short video you know Trying to make the most out of a setback today. Normal video back on Friday. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe because I upload new videos every single Monday and Friday. And make sure to follow me on Instagram as well because I'm dropping new content there every single week. And with that all out of the way, I'm going to see you guys in the next video.